This is a 2009 Chevy Impala and the issue it's having is all the tire pressure monitors in the rims are bad. If you're not familiar with what the tire pressure monitor is, it's at the other, other end of your valve stem on the inside of your rim. So I went online and I bought these. There's four of them. I got them on Amazon. I want to say they were like 40 bucks, maybe a little bit less than 40 bucks for all four of them. So we're going to put them in and I'm going to show you how to train them to the car without using a scan tool. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. Okay, I got all the, all the tires mounted back up on the car with the new sensors and I'm going to show you how to program the sensors uh, and calibrate them to their position without using a scan tool. And all you need is the remote. Now you can see that this, this car has got two remotes. This is for an aftermarket remote start. You can't use this one. You've got to use the factory remote. Uh, the factory key fob or remote does work in this case as you can see by the lights. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the key in the ignition. I'm going to turn the key to the on position without starting the car. I'm going to push both the lock and the unlock uh, for about five seconds. I'm going to hold them in, and you'll hear the horn honk, and you should see that light light up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take an air chuck, and I'm going to let air out of that tire until the horn honks. And after the horn honks, you're going to see that light light up. And we're going to do the same thing all the way around the car in succession until we get to the driver's side rear. And at that point, all the TPMS will be programmed, and then we can set the tire pressure, because I'm actually, actually going to let a little bit of air out of the tires doing this. Okay, the Prindle now displays tire learning active. So I'm going to remove the uh, cap and I'm going to let some air out of this tire. Okay, this tire is now learned, or the sensor is now learned, and you'll see that the light is lit for here. So now I'm going to do this tire, and again, we're just letting air out of the tire. Okay, now we're going to move to the rear. I'm going to bring you guys with me. Now you can see this tail light's lit up. Okay, I'm going to leave the cap off because I'm going to correct the air pressure when we're done. And now we can see that that light is lit up. So we'll do the same thing over here.
Okay. You heard two two chirps with the horn, and that means that it's done. So let's check it out. Okay, right rear 40 PSI. Oh, we got to get back into it. There we go. Left front 46 PSI. Right front 39 PSI. Left rear 41 PSI. Right rear 40 PSI. So that's how to program, uh, you know, cheap internet, eBay, Amazon tire pressure sensors to a GM vehicle. I did this on a Chevy Impala, but it's not specific to the Impala. It'll work on, I don't know, almost all of the vehicles on the GM platform. Um, I typically don't do it this way. I have a scan tool, um, well, a tire pressure monitor tool that doubles as a scan tool. It's by Altel. It's a Maxi TPMS TS601. This is pretty handy, but this was 400 bucks, and not everybody has one of these. So you don't need one to do it. You can do it without them. Um, you can do it without buying the expensive sensors. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe, ring the bell if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.